Hello everyone, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I have here a 2014 Honda that has automatic window open and close features and the passenger side window is once more got stuck in the up position. If I move to the passenger side automatic opening and closing button in the door panel it works but if I try to open the window from the driver's side it doesn't work and I found from the past that the cause of this is the mechanism inside of the driver's side door that regulates the features of automatic window up and down has gotten decalibrated somehow and that a complicated calibrating mechanism can make the window work right again and I'm going to show you how I reset the calibration of the automatic window up and down so that the passenger side window could be let down or up from the driver's side once more. Some 2014 Honda Accords don't have a steering wheel mechanical ignition locks on them. This one doesn't. It, all it has is an engine start and stop button that's uh, turned on and off via the fob. Okay, so these instructions are for those sorts of cars. And it goes like this. It's pretty complicated. I apologize in advance. But it works perfectly if you do it exactly right. Okay, now here is the only ignition button on this 2014 Honda Accord. Access by the fob. This is the fob. Okay, so now over here you have the automatic window opener and closer for the driver's side. That works fine. The automatic window opener and closer for the passenger front side. That doesn't work anymore. And here you have for the back seats. They work perfectly. Okay, so what I have to do is recalibrate the entire mechanism which is inside here. So the first thing you do is you close the driver's side door. Then you have your foot on the brake and you have your fob in the car and you turn the ignition button on. Next, move the driver's side window to down. So here it goes down. Okay. Now, open the driver's side door. It doesn't have to be all the way open, I found. You can prop it halfway open with your foot. Turn the red ignition switch off. Hold the driver's side window button halfway down, not all the way down. Turn the ignition key back on. Okay. Then, you've, all this time you've been holding this button halfway down. Now you release the button. Okay. So now you have to do the last part of this maneuver three more times. And that is... Turn the ignition off. Hold the driver window button halfway down. Now pretend I'm holding it all the way down, right? But you see I'm holding the camcorder so I can't do that. Then push the ignition button in again to turn the engine on. You're still holding this down and then you let go of it. Okay? And... For the third time, you turn the ignition off. Push this halfway down and hold it halfway down. Turn it back on. And then release that button. Going for the last time. Turn the ignition off. Hold the button halfway down. Turn the ignition on. And then release the button. So now, after the fourth time, 
leaving the door open without turning the ignition off again, okay? Wait for five seconds. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, and one more just for the heck of it. And then push the driver's side window button all the way down. You can hear it click twice. One, two. And count to five seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. The window came down. And then one more just for the heck of it. And then, and then you pull it up all the way and see that the car window will go back up and hold it up for five seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, and one more just for the sake of the thing. And... Okay, believe it or not, what you've just done is to recalibrate the window opening and closing mechanism that's in the driver's side door. I know it's hard to believe, but the proof is in the pudding. So, at this point, what should happen is that the passenger window over here in the front ought to start working. So let's see what happens. This is the control for the passenger side window. If I push it down, it should work now. So I'm pushing it all the way down, click, click. The window comes down. I'm pushing it all the way up, click, click, up. And the window went back up again. Success, and I'm far from a mechanical adept, so I'm sure that you could do it too. The thing to remember is that you don't need to have a place to put in your mechanical 2014 Honda key in the steering wheel column. Instead, you can simply work with turning on and off the red ignition button on the dash that works with a key fob. You have to have a key fob with a good battery in it. If you don't have a key fob with a good battery in it, nevertheless you may be able to get it to work if you hold the key fob without the battery up quite close to the red button. That's just an emergency measure. The best thing to do is to keep extra batteries for the key fob in your glove compartment, I feel. Okay, that's all the tips for now. I hope I was clear enough, and I hope you can manage it, because if you take it to a mechanic, it's going to cost the big bucks, you know? Good luck. Until next we meet.